Hi, I'm Jonathan from the Rookie Academy, and today I'd like to talk to you about effectively finishing turns and bumps to promote the ability to make linked, rounded turns and control through mogul fields. A common problem for intermediate to advanced bump skiers is that after a series of linked, awesome feeling turns, you get kicked out and thrown across the hill, having to stop, recover, and start again. This is often due to a common problem of not having enough separation at the finish of our turns and bumps. What we mean by separation is having the legs turned against the pelvis and upper body in the hip socket. This creates a twisted relationship between the upper body and the lower body. From this twisted relationship, the body feels stable, the strongest core, and it makes it much easier to get into the next turn because of the balance and the fact that we're twisted allows the skis to move into the fall line comfortably. One of the technical goals in short turns and bumps is to get the legs to turn freely under a stable upper body. Through the end of the turn, as the legs turn under the body, they create a slightly twisted or countered relationship between the legs, the top of the legs, and the pelvis, where the legs point one way and the body stays facing mainly down the fall line. Oftentimes, people have a tendency to finish the turn square. This leaves us balanced slightly up the hill and hard to turn into the next turn, sending us out of the fall line that we're in and shooting us across the hill. This separated position, leaving the body facing more down the fall line, keeps us balanced towards the outside foot, more down the hill, and prepared and comfortable for our next turn. To explore a strong separated position that we're going to be skiing into at the end of the turn, we're going to start statically on this flat ground. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lower my stance and feel a strong core, strong lower back, strong glutes, hands in front of me. Underneath my pelvis, I'm going to turn my feet to the right. What I feel right now is my toes are pointed over there, and my body is pointed straight this way. And I feel that right in the hip socket here. Some tension in the muscles on the outside of this hip, and some tension in the muscles on the outside of that hip. Now I'm going to unwind them to neutral again, where everything is pointed the same direction. I'm going to wind them back up to the left, where my toes are pointed to the left, my body's facing this way. I feel some tension in this glute, and the inside of this thigh. Now that we've felt that separation, standing still on flat ground, let's take it skiing. I'm going to go on a straight run here, on some gentle green to very easy blue terrain. Leaving my body facing straight down the hill, I'm going to turn my legs under my pelvis, feeling the edges come on ever so slightly and come to a stop. When I stop, I'm going to feel my upper body facing downhill and balanced firmly on my downhill foot. This is also called a hockey stop. Now let's try linking those hockey stops together. We're gonna to ski down this easy blue slope, not too steep, but not too flat either, something that would be normally have bumps on it off piste. We're gonna ski from hockey stop to hockey stop and gradually increase the speed of the legs rotating under the stable body and shortening the time that we stop and the time in between when we turn our legs under our stable pelvis and upper body. Now let's add some terrain to that exercise. Let's go into some easy blue bumps on not too steep of a pitch that are preferably quite round. We're gonna ski off one bump and turn to a hockey stop on the top or uphill part of the next bump. As we stop, we're gonna make sure our body is facing down the hill, the legs have turned under the body and we're balancing our downhill ski. A firm pole plant sometimes helps with this. Notice from this position, the body wants to fall down the hill. It wants to go down the hill. I mean, the skis want to go down the hill too. This is going to promote linking turns and bumps. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's link from hockey stop to hockey stop and progressively take the hockey stop out. What we should have is flowing, rounded short turns in the bumps that are in control. Once that's feeling really comfortable, Amp up the speed, make the bumps a little bigger, maybe turn up the pitch just a little bit. But notice as that happens, as the bumps get bigger and the pitch gets steeper, you're going to go a little faster. You're going to need to turn the legs more strongly, intensely, and faster to get this kind of feeling. 
you're going to need stronger movements to the outside ski. And some of this is going to require a greater range of vertical movement to keep your body centered and standing on the outside ski. If it gets too much, you can always back it down to flatter terrain or take it back to the exercise of linking one hockey stop to another. I'm Jonathan from the Rookie Academy and thanks for watching. What am I doing again? Um. <laughs>